Hello and welcome back to another episode of Mr. Cam's exciting monologue on biological processes. Today we're going to be focusing on photosynthesis, specifically the biologically awesome part that depends on light. So here's your average houseplant. Not very exciting, right? Wrong! There are so many things going on inside of a plant, it's almost like a constant strobe light at a party that's going on inside of a plant that you probably never even knew about. As you have already learned from your cursory view of photosynthesis, light travels down, similar to the circle in this picture. Imagine that this circle represents a light particle that has traveled millions and millions of miles just to get to this plant. As it travels down toward the thylakoid membrane, something very, very exciting is about to happen. It's going to make an explosion! Yay! Well, not the action hero kind of explosion you're probably used to seeing in an overpriced Michael Bay film about Transformers, but it does create energy for the plant. While the light is traveling toward the plant, there is also water in the form of two oxygens and one hydrogen traveling toward the thylakoid membrane. It separates from its oxygen partners like high school seniors who break up before going off to different colleges. And if we zoom in on the hydrogen, you can see there are little particles zooming around. You probably learned about these particles earlier in class because they are known as electrons. They are little negatively charged particles, and at this point in the photosynthesis process, they leave the hydrogen atom so that the hydrogen atom becomes a positive hydrogen ion. As we zoom back out, we should also see that there are electrons inside of the thylakoid membrane. The light energy that hit the thylakoid membrane is transferring the light to the electrons. The changing color of the electrons shows that the energy is being transferred. Which brings us to the next step in photosynthesis, the crossing of the great electron transport chain. The electrons now have so much energy that they are like a student in the back of the class who just can't sit still. The electrons have to boogie like B.B. King on a blues guitar. As the old electrons move down the transport chain, the new electrons that just broke up with the hydrogen enter the thylakoid membrane. As the electrons travel down the electron transport chain, the hydrogen ions at the same time use the energy to move across the thylakoid membrane. On the other side of the electron transport chain is a molecule known as NADP+. NADP plus is a sort of awesome hero sidekick like Robin or some B-list celebrity like David Arquette because NADP plus doesn't really have that much energy. It wants to get that energy from the electrons that just pass through the electron chain so they hook up together and form an even more powerful molecule known as NADPH. However, NADPH is still not the most powerful, ultra-awesome, super cool molecule. In order to make that super powerful molecule, the H plus ions have to diffuse back across the protein channel to hook up with the NADPH to make a molecule known as ATP. ATP is the super awesome, bourgeois, super duper legendary molecule. And ATP has to go off to the next phase of photosynthesis, which I'm not going to get into now because this video is already too long. Tune in next time for the light-dependent portion of photosynthesis. Watch the video one more time in real time to see what photosynthesis might actually look like when it happens. Like, 